Hi there, this is Melamic Art and my name is Mickey and I'm actually back today with an unboxing and this is with um, a very wonderful artist um, on YouTube as well as face she has Facebook, she has Twitter, Instagram, um, she has her own website, sandrinesgallery.com and she has a store on Sandrine's Gallery zibit.com um, she does custom portraits and uh, pets and um, humans and she's just amazing um, we've actually uh, done each other's portrait on uh, YouTube videos too um, and uh, I think we met on a sketchy app um, or I can't remember uh, now it was either YouTube or sketchy and we both, you know, have been cheering each other on um, I, for uh, portraits. I don't really have to do much cheering for her because she's she's really a phenomenal artist. So I, I, I encourage you to go see her YouTube and watch her videos. And she's always got something new. And um, we've got talking, and we thought, well, you know, we have accumulated so many art snacks uh, box. Um, supplies and th other things um, here's one of the art snacks symbols that uh, we just have so much stuff and um, over the years we just keep accumulating so we thought we'd um, send each other a little uh, surprise of our cast offs of things that we don't use so um, and I, I'm feeling a little shamed because I don't think I actually put a lot of uh, effort into my the one that I um, sent her, I'm sure she's probably going to do a video on her end. Oops, I just pushed a button there. Um, and I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's done some pretty great things today. Um, so without further ado, let's go with ahead with the unboxing. And the challenge is to use whatever's in this um, uh, package and create something with just these supplies. I hadn't actually sent her papers, so hopefully she, she said she's got some papers. So here is, here it is. Okay, nice shiny gold foil. So here is a little compilation. It looks like it is a card here. Did she make this? Yep, she did block print. Sandrine's Gallery and Swelligator collaboration. This is cute. After, yeah, I'll, I'll read this. And uh, let's see what else we got here. So, this is, she got a stamp. So, she's got a, this really cool stamp. It says thank you. And of course, I don't have my scissors in front of me. I'd actually. Um, taking the tape off of the package so I could open it easier. But let's see what we got here. Oh, get some more off. Oh, she sent me paper. Okay, so there's a clue. So what's in there? I'm gonna need some. I really admire her for doing her. Um, <clears throat> her portraits on black paper and they're so detailed she's just amazing so it looks like I have some paper here and this really cool little plastic envelope and I have four by six paper uh, black Stonehenge paper two of them these are 90 pounds oh Stonehenge did that um, and Strathmore and Arsh, uh, 140 pounds paper. This is, this is the Arsh, or Arches, whoever you say it. And this is the Strathmore. This looks pretty rough. Okay, cool. I love paper. I always like to check it out. I anyway, gotta keep this moving, I guess. I already see some really cool treats in here. Let me see. Um, 
Okay. Okay, oh, okay, so this is a, a French candy. Mmm. A mange. Okay. Go ahead and pop this open. This exacto knife is so sharp. When I was younger, I actually was talking to someone and I was explaining myself with an exacto knife on my hand, and I said, "Up, oh, that's it," and I slapped my thighs, and the exacto knife went right into my thigh. <laughs> I still have the scar. I thought that was it's cool, kind of cool to have an art scar, you know. Artists, you know, we were tough folks. Oh my gosh, look what she sent me. Aww. Oh my gosh. So we got some little Haribo star mints. Oh, this is great. So she, she's, I sent her candies too. And this is a Calabar caramel. Mmm. So can't wait to try those. Yum, yum. Oh my gosh. She sent me such good stuff. I feel so bad. <laughs> next time, Alexandrine. I'm getting you next time. So this is a Prismacolor um, copper. So that's gonna be gorgeous, I'm sure. I'll have to sharpen that up. And she sent me Van Gogh pigs. Oh, I'm so excited. I really wanted to get a set of these and she sent me these <laughs> for free. She didn't even send me pans. She sent me the whole tubes. Sandrine, this is awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited. So this one is um, <laughs> such a goof. Okay, blue. We have a blue. Uh, okay, hmm. PB27. So this might be more of a... I have limited water watercolor knowledge. Is that like a phthalo blue? So this, oh, oh, there's the, oh my gosh. Uh, it's okay, so this is Prussian blue. I actually was looking for a Prussian blue. Cerulean blue. I couldn't even read the fine print because my eyes are so, uh, Oh, and a Cotman. A Cotman red. Oh, she's awesome. And... Lemon yellow. I'm so excited. Thank you. Oh. Oh my gosh. What is this? This looks very intimidating. Oh, well, this is watercolor. Phew. Phew. If it was, um, I had thought it for a second it was like a pastel, and I have no experience with pastels whatsoever. Which means I probably should do it, right? Find some pastels to do them. Ugh. Okay. Wow, these are cool. I have never seen these before. So this is a coin or and I have a oh, a oh a gold and a silver I guess. So that looks neat. They look kind of opaque. Okay. Neat. That's like a little she got a little sample at some point. Cool. Alright, so should oh, I should probably put this something here. Let me get rid of this. Something there to prop it up. Okay. And a bunch of markers. Oh my word. Gosh, I hope I sent her enough. Ah, oh, she sent me Tombos. Oopsie, cat fell off. Oh, she knows I like Tombos. Oh, these are gorgeous. Ooh, I have to find the, red, the other end of the cap. I will find it. And then we have a, a Fibralo Carndash. I'm really bad butchering this. I'm actually French, so I should be able to enunciate French words. <laughs> Let's see. And this is an opaque pigment marker, fine point. Wow, ooh, this is gonna be fun. <gasps> oh my gosh, this looks like a lot of fun. I should do some of this swatching. Okay, so here. Hmm, this is supposed to be opaque. 
water and pain resistant. Opaque pigment marker. All right, so let's, so this is a gray, a nice blue gray. I don't want to call that blue, actually. What do they call it? Nothing, 186.504. And then we have beautiful bright Tombos. It almost looks like a different color on the other end, doesn't it? Wow, that's quite a difference. Oops, wrong end. So this is a 173. This is a 703. These, I think I remember her working with these. They look brand new. Okay, cool. All right, let me find that cap. I just want to make sure. I want to see how opaque this is. Mm, it's pretty translucent to me. Okay. I have cats. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. I'm trying to go fast because I've taken a lot of time here and I want to swatch these out super, super quick. Ah. This is the Koi Noir. I'm going to have to do this for a little bit, it looks like. Oh, yeah. And here's the gold. These are interesting. Oh yeah, a little bit of shine. Okay, so what am I? And then these, I will do um, more of a time lapse to test these. That's so exciting, thank you Sandrine. I cannot wait to create something with these. I gotta sharpen this. And then I can get a proper test of these products. Uh, my table is slanted here, so I'm kind of just trying to keep everything here. Um, okay, I will see you right after the, um, the time lapse. Okay, so I think I have managed to get a little bit of everything in here. I got all of these wonderful paints, um, save for the silver. Couldn't really find something for the silver, but I got the, I think, nope, I didn't do the green. So I got the pink, I got the, some gray, I didn't put the blue in, and I got some of the copper. Um, and I was able to use a um, pen nib to get some of the detail in, which was cool. I've never tried that before and it actually worked, so I was really happy. And I primarily just used this little teeny um, fourth inch chisel, which works really pretty well, actually. It's a um, angular shader by Protege. So um, I really enjoyed this challenge and I'm so grateful for Sandrine for giving me these wonderful, wonderful things and can't thank you enough. Um, uh, and I cannot wait to do this again so I can spoil you uh, with some really cool things. Um, thanks for joining me today and um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.